Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over PFS mount dumper by Logic 6.8. Um, it basically works the same way as a PS4 dumper payload. Um, you go ahead and uh, launch the game, launch the payload, and then uh, it will dump to a USB device if you have it plugged in. The only difference is this will only dump raw data. Um, so it's not going to go ahead and decrypt the executables. And as you can see here, it will dump the app as well as the patch if it exists. Now, the majority of the PS5 games that I've checked, I, it seems that the patch is merged with the app. I haven't seen any PS5 games with uh, separate folders there or the uh, patch being separate. But uh, there might be some out there. As for PS4 games, of course, you will see that there because that's just the way that uh, PS4 was designed with the app and then the patch. But uh, yeah, other than that there, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, the ELF file is here, so I just went ahead and downloaded it here. It seems like this one is the latest, which is 12 hours. I know that uh, Logic has one over on his Twitter that's like two days ago, but... Uh, yeah, we just go ahead and download this here, and uh, once you do get it downloaded, we're going to go ahead and jump over to the uh, PS5, and we'll go ahead and get that set up. Okay, so now we're over to the PS5. Um, I will point out, if you recall the uh, the issue we were having FTP in games, uh, the language file stop and everything, if you didn't actually have that language file selected, it's almost like the file wasn't there. Um, the payload does the exact same thing. So it was unable to do Cold War. It just stopped at 2% and just kept on saying 2%, 2%, and no hard drive activity. Um, so the game we're going to be using, we'll go ahead and just use uh, GTA here. Go ahead and just uh, launch it. Give it a few seconds here to open up. And once it does open, you can go ahead and hold in your uh, PlayStation button. And uh, I do have Alizip's DNS is set up, so we'll go into settings, go into user guide, and select user guide here. And once we do get in, we'll just go ahead and say yes to that. And then we'll hit L2 twice once uh, Alizip's host does come up. L2 twice. Then we'll go ahead and put in the Echo Stretch uh, 701 host. And R2 for done. Go ahead and hit submit. And from here, we'll just jump up to the PS5 here. And we'll go ahead and just uh, use Spectres. Okay, we'll give it a few seconds here for the message to pop up if we're ready or not. Okay, not enough memory. Sometimes that does happen. Just go ahead and hit OK. Um, it should pop up the next time. Go ahead and hit OK. Okay, trigger new AF. All right, so we do have our ELF loader ready now. At this here point, uh, you go ahead and plug in your USB if you don't already, and uh, we'll jump over to the computer. Okay, so now we're over to the computer. We'll go ahead and open up our netcat. Go ahead and just drag over our ELF file. Just make sure our IP is correct there, and then we'll go ahead and hit Eject Payload. Okay, so you can see the ELF file was received. It is uh, executing. It will take a few moments here. It does go through a little bit of a process there before it starts uh, transferring over the files. Okay, so there's our welcome message. Version 100B. Okay, calculating the size of the app folder. And there we go, and it's starting. So I think it's like every five seconds it will prompt you with a uh, percentage. As you can see, we do have 0% there now. Um, it shouldn't take very long, but we'll go ahead and just skip ahead. Okay, so there we go, 93%. Um, pretty much done. We should get a final message here shortly, letting us know that uh, everything is complete. 
it is a lot quicker on the uh, copying it to the USB device than FTP in. So you can see that we did get the copy message um, as well as we got the uh, finished message as well. But yeah, once that's done, we can go ahead and jump back over to the computer. Okay, so I got the USB device opened up here. You can see that we do have our PPSA03530 folder. Go into it, and if we just hover over it, it will tell us the size as well. You can see that it was only 10.4 gigabytes. But if we go ahead and open up the app folder here, you can see we do have all the files. Looks pretty much the same as the uh, PS4 games would. Um, but just keep in mind that the, the executable is not decrypted. We're not at that stage yet, but you can go ahead and just go ahead and browse the files. Um, go into the folders as well. You can go and check out movies if it does have movies. Go ahead and watch them as well. But uh, yeah, I just want to jump on, show you that there. Um, just a lot quicker than uh, FTP in it. But uh, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment down below. And uh, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.